Hey, how's it going, people? The Complete Damage here, and welcome to your quest guide for the Hand in the Sand. No fast forwarding, just what you need to know, so let's get this bad boy on the go. No quest requirements for this, you just need 49 crafting and 17 thieving. And item wise, you will require one bucket, a bucket of sand, a lantern lens, five earth rooms, one empty vial, a red berry, and a white berry. Also, to note, we are going to entrain at some point in this quest, so we do need to be bollock naked, so get naked for me. Mmm, naked. Either way, once you're ready, come over to Yanil on the west side, next towards the house portal. It's this little house by here, that's where you start the quest. Head inside and speak to Bert. So, talk to him, run through his chat, and go ahead and choose option 2. You, a hand in the sand. Run through his chat a little bit more, and once again, choose option 2. Sure, I'll give you a hand. If for whatever reason you don't have any sand, but you do have a bucket, there is a sand pit literally just to your northwest right by here. All you need to do is simply use your bucket on it, and you'll get sand from it. It's as simple as that. So, you want to go just a touch to your south, opposite Bert's house, and there's a nice little pub. Head inside, and give the guard captain your beer. So make sure you right-click on your beer, and give it to him. If that doesn't work, just simply talk to him. He should take it from you, and you'll get a hand. Good times. Head over towards the Major's Guild, just to your east. It's opposite the bank. And just outside it, there is a bell. Go ahead and ring that bell. Once you do so, a wizard will spawn. Choose option two, I have a rather sandy problem. Run through his chat. And eventually, once you shut up, you need to go back to Bert. So back over to the west side of Yanil, in the northwest hut and chat to him. Run through Birch chat. And once he's finished, we need to go to Brimhaven. So go ahead and home port over to Karamja. So entering Karamja, from here you want to head up towards your northeast. There's a little house just north of the southern pub in Brimhaven. That's the little hut we need to go into. So from here, just run northeast, go past the Karamban spot. And you'll see a little house squeezed between the pub and the restaurant that you did the hero's quest in. Head inside this little house and you'll find Sandy. So go ahead and search his desk. You get a little note, go ahead and read that note. And there's a bunch of times on it. At this point, you now need to try and right-click and steal from Sandy. And you should steal some sand from him. Once you have that sand, head back to Bert. So go ahead and home port back to Yanil. So once you literally go into Bert's house and chat to him. Run through his chat nice and quick. And once again go over to the Mages Guild and pull that bell outside the entrance. So again it's over to the east side of Yanil, opposite the bank. There's a bell outside, go ahead and ring it. Once you do so, choose option 2, I have a sandy problem. Run through his chat. And he'll give you a little orb. You now need to go over to Port Sarim, so go ahead and home port over to Sarim. So just to the north of Port Sarum is the magic shop on the northern side. Go inside and speak to Betty. The northwesternmost shop in Port Sarum. Head in, speak to Betty, run through her chat. Same old, same old. Go ahead and choose option one. Talk about hand in the sand. When she finally shuts up, go ahead and use your red berry on your flask. Make sure you right click and use. 
Then right click and use your white berry on it to make a pink dye. Then use that pink dye on your lens to make a pink tinted lens. So once you've done that, you now need to speak to Betty once more. Choose option one, hand in the sand, run through a chat. Now you want to stand in the doorway of the building. Use your new rose tinted lens on the counter in the center of the room with the vial on top of it. Once you do so, you'll obtain a truth serum. With that in hand, speak to Betty once more. Choose option one, hand in the sand. Just take the sand away from you and it's time to head back to Brimhaven. So go ahead and home port to Karamja. So once you're back here, we're going back to Sandy's house, so make your way up towards the northeast. It's the little house between the pub and the restaurant. So past the ground room spot, go almost directly east. Little house in between those two big old buildings. Same place we went earlier on. Go ahead and talk to Sandy, and choose option two, but the pygmy shrews. Once you do so, you need to quickly use your truth serum on the coffee mug next to him. Once you've done that, you need to activate your magical orb. So just left click on your orb in your imagery. Once you've done that, speak to Sandy and choose option one three times in a row. Once you finish the conversation with them, go ahead and home teleport back over to Yanil. Once you're in Yanil, you need to go back to the Mages Guild. So head over to the east side of Yanil, opposite the bank, you have the Mages Guild, and ring that bell once again. So once you rung the bell, choose option 2, I have a rather sandy problem, and run through his chat. Once you've done so, ring the bell again, and talk to him once more, choose option 2, I have a rather sandy problem. If he's still there, just talk to him, and choose option 2, and eventually you should get a cutscene. So again, just run through it as quickly as you can. And once that cutscene's finished, we now need to head over to Intrana, so go ahead and home teleport back to Port Sarim. So once you're here, you want to head up towards your northeast just a little bit, and catch a boat ride over to Intrana. So the place you want to go is literally just south east of the player and ports portal. Just grab one of these monks and teleport across. Once you're on in China, cross the gangplank to enter. And you want to hunt to your west side, and you'll find a little sand pit right by here. Go ahead and talk to Mazion, one of the monks wandering around just outside of it. Run through his chat, eventually you'll receive a wizard's head. Once you have that, head back to Yanil, and go back to the Mage's Guild. So 
So again, Major's Guild's on the east side of Yenil, just opposite the bank. I'm sure you should remember by now. Go ahead and ring the bell. And talk to the wizard for the final time. Once again, choose option 2. I have a rather sandy problem. And that's it, quest complete. So for doing this, you gain 1 quest point, 1k thieving XP, 9k crafting XP, and a secret reward from Bird. So, talking about that secret reward from Bird, all you need to do is simply run over to Bird. You can do this once per day. You can go right click on him and take sand. Essentially, he will deliver 84 buckets of sand straight to your bank for you after this quest. And you can do it every single day if you combine that with buying 80 seaweed up in Catherby from the general store as well. It's some very easy glass making and crafting XP. So that's pretty much it. There is a side quest after this, which is putting Clarence back together again, which I may end up making a guide for as well. So if you fancy that, leave a comment, let me know. Either way, that is quest complete. Happy days. Hopefully you found this guide useful. Hopefully you can complete this quest. And until next time, I'll catch you all later. Have a good one.